subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in Google Certified, Professional Cloud Architect. So let's get started. Question number 1. Your company has decided to make a major revision of their API in order to create better experiences for their developers. They need to keep the old version of the API available and deployable, while allowing new customers and testers to try out the new API they want to keep the same SSL and DNS records in place to serve both APIs. What should they do? Your options are A. Configure a new load balancer for the new version of the API. B. Reconfigure old clients to use a new endpoint for the new API. C. Have the old API forward traffic to the new API based on the path. D. Use separate backend pools for each API path behind the load balancer. The correct answer is, option D. Your company plans to migrate a multi-petabyte dataset to the cloud. The dataset must be available 24 hours a day. Your business analysts have experience only with using a SQL interface. How should you store the data to optimize it for ease of analysis? Your options are A. Load data into Google BigQuery B. Insert data into Google Cloud SQL C. Put flat files into Google Cloud Storage D. Stream data into Google Cloud Data Store The correct answer is, option A. The operations manager asks you for a list of recommended practices that she should consider when migrating a J2E application to the cloud. Which three practices should you recommend? Choose three. Your options are A. Port the application code to run on Google App Engine. B. Integrate cloud data flow into the application to capture real-time metrics. C. Instrument the application with a monitoring tool like Stackdrive or Debugger. D. Select an automation framework to reliably provision the cloud infrastructure. E. Deploy a continuous integration tool with automated testing in a staging environment. F. Migrate from MySQL to a managed NoSQL database, like Google Cloud Data Store or Bigtable. The correct answers are, option A, D, and E. An application development team believes their current logging tool will not meet their needs for their new cloud-based product. They want a better tool to capture errors, and help them analyze their historical log data. You want to help them find a solution that meets their needs. What should you do? Your options are A. Direct them to download and install the Google Stack Driver Logging Agent. B. Send them a list of online resources about logging best practices. C. Help them define their requirements and assess viable logging tools. D. Help them upgrade their current tool to take advantage of any new features. The correct answer is, option C. You need to reduce the number of unplanned rollbacks of erroneous production deployments in your company's web hosting platform. Improvement to the following. Test processes accomplished an 80% reduction. Which additional two approaches can you take to further reduce the rollbacks? Choose two. Your options are. A. Introduce a green-blue deployment model. B. Replace the QA environment with canary releases. C. Fragment the monolithic platform into microservices. D. Reduce the following dependency on relational database systems. E. Replace the following relational database systems, with a NoSQL database. The correct answers are, option A, and C. Your company wants to track whether someone is present in a meeting room reserved for a scheduled meeting. There are 1,000 meeting rooms across five offices on three continents. Each room is equipped with a motion sensor that reports its status every second. The data from the motion detector includes only a sensor ID, and several different discrete items of information. Analysts will use this data, together with information about account owners and office locations. Which database type should you use? Your options are A. Flat file B. No SQL C. Relational D. Blob store the correct answer is option B. And, here's the explanation of the answer. Write a Python script to connect to Google BigQuery from a Google Compute Engine virtual machine. The script is printing errors that it cannot connect to BigQuery. What should you do to fix the script? Your options are 
A. Install the latest BigQuery API client library for Python. B. Run your script on a new virtual machine with the BigQuery access scope enabled. C. Create a new service account with BigQuery access and execute your script with that user. D. Install the BQ component for GCloud Cloud, with the command Cloud Components install BQ. The correct answer is, option B. The company has successfully migrated to the cloud and wants to analyze their data stream to optimize operations. They do not have any existing code for this analysis, so they are exploring all their options. These options include a mix of batch and stream processing, as they are running some hourly jobs and live processing some data as it comes in. Which technology should they use for this? Your options are A. Google Cloud Data Proc B. Google Cloud Data Flow C. Google Container Engine with Big Table D. Google Compute Engine with Google Big Query The correct answer is option B. And, here's the explanation of the answer. You have been asked to select the storage system for the click data of your company's large portfolio of websites. This data is streamed in from a custom website analytics package at a typical rate of 6,000 clicks per minute. With bursts of up to 8,500 clicks per second. It must have been stored for future analysis by your data science and user experience teams. Which storage infrastructure should you choose? Your options are A. Google Cloud SQL B. Google Cloud Big Table C. Google Cloud Storage D. Google Cloud Data Store The correct answer is option B. And, here's the explanation of the answer. You are creating a solution to remove backup files older than 90 days from your backup cloud storage bucket. You want to optimize ongoing cloud storage spend. What should you do? Your options are A. Write a lifecycle management rule in XML and push it to the bucket with Xutil. B. Write a lifecycle management rule in JSON and push it to the bucket with Xutil. C. Schedule a cron script using the following to find and remove items older than 90 days. D. Schedule a cron script using the following to find and remove items older than 90 days and schedule it with cron. The correct answer is, option B. Your company is forecasting a sharp increase in the number and size of Apache Spark and Hadoop jobs being run on your local data center. You want to utilize the cloud to help you scale this upcoming demand, with the least amount of operations work and code change. Which product should you use? Your options are A. Google Cloud Data Flow B. Google Cloud Data Proc C. Google Compute Engine D. Google Kubernetes Engine The correct answer is, option B. You want to optimize the performance of an accurate, real-time, weather charting application. The data comes from 50,000 sensors sending 10 readings a second, in the format of a timestamp and sensor reading. Where should you store the data? Your options are A. Google BigQuery B. Google Cloud SQL C. Google Cloud Bigtable D. Google Cloud Storage The correct answer is option C. And, here's the explanation of the answer. Your solution is producing performance bugs in production that you did not see in staging and test environments. You want to adjust your test and deployment procedures to avoid this problem in the future. What should you do? Your options are A. Deploy fewer changes to production B. Deploy smaller changes to production C. Increase the load on your test and staging environments D. Deploy changes to a small subset of users before rolling out to production The correct answer is, option D. Small number of API requests to your microservices-based application take a very long time. You know that each request to the API can traverse many services. You want to know which service takes the longest in those cases. What should you do? Your options are A. Set timeouts on your application so that you can fail requests faster. B. Send custom metrics for each of your requests to stack driver monitoring. C. Use stack driver monitoring to look for insights that show when your API latencies are high. D. Instrument your application with stack driver trace in order to break down the request latencies at each microservice. The correct answer is, option B. High traffic portion of the day, one of your relational databases crashes, 
but the replica is never promoted to a master. You want to avoid this in the future. What should you do? Your options are A. Use a different database B. Choose larger instances for your database C. Create snapshots of your database more regularly D. Implement routinely scheduled failovers of your databases The correct answer is, option B. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.